here is TypeKit in action. Getting started with TypeKit for the first time, come over here, hit on add a new website. And add a new website, you're expected to provide your website URL and go ahead to select your default language to so whatever you want your website visitors to see as the different language to your uh, website you can go ahead and select that and you can also come over here to select the number of uh, support languages which you want your website visitors to be able to translate your website into so once you're done selecting your languages you can then come over here to hit and add new website once a new website is added you find it listed like this on your startup page now you can come over here, click here to, uh, of course, customize how you want your language switcher to look like. So you can hit and customize. At this point, you can also go ahead, add some more languages if need arises. You can also uh, adjust the position of your language switcher, just like you see right here. I can change it to bottom right. I can also change it to my uh, top center as well. I can also switch it to my... Uh, bottom right as we can see right there as well as uh, getting it to my top right I can also uh, rotate it as much as I want to my right center as you can have it right there and you can change the colors to meet whatever uh, color your website is designed on you can also choose your type line or text you want to appear here so you could just have select language instead of choose you could have select language all right so hit and save and continue once you successfully get that done you can then come over to the page overview on your page overview you can find your script and you can of course see your entire translations which you've done and this is exactly how type kit will look like on your website so visiting your website for the first time type kit comes up like this requesting for you to choose your language so whichever language i want to get this on i could go ahead Select it require Arabic. I could go over set that and it requires that I provide my name. So I could go ahead and set my name here and it's going to remember me and render all my site into Arabic. So if I visit it the next time, I'm going to have all of this content right inside here and it does not distort the styling of my website. So that's really how awesome it is to use TypeKit to translate any of your website for your first time site visitors so coming back to your type kit dashboard and going over to your visitors you can find your entire visitors which has been uh, captured by type kit so right here we have our visitor right here showing that we captured right from type kit and you can always come back to your type kit dashboard to uh, edit or customize your language folder at this point you can then come over here to see all your translations right inside of the translation you can of course come here to see your edit functionality so right on your translate you can also get to see all translatable text that our ai can also help you translate or suggest our text which you can change your uh, front end view into so right here you can see all the text so if I was to uh, make some edit within my uh, footer, if I have some errors within my footer, it could be copyright. So if I put it that way, I can also get to see uh, content. I could want to change this, so I can then come over here say edit. Here we have type kit in flow. So if I change this now to type kit up, I have it at type kit up. If I hit and save changes. This is going to apply on my front end as well so i don't have to pay any developer to edit my text for me so coming back to the page right here i want to go back and i'm selecting english i hit and save you can scroll down and hit to refresh this page for me to resolve this scrolling below you see here we have the type kit app so that's exactly how you can go ahead to use the type kit ai to rewrite your site remotely as well as to translate your website without distorting the content to just about anything you want to do so that's exactly how we get type kit into action thank you